Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another week in outfits. Starting off with Monday's outfit, which is pretty casual. In terms of the base layer, this is just one of my favorite basic t-shirts from Arquette, which I have in pretty much every color. But as you can see here, I'm wearing the black. The blazer is from Everlane and I've had this for a couple of years now. It always gets a lot of wear during the autumn months. These jeans are old Zara and to be honest I probably won't get a lot more wear out of these this year because of all the rips, but as they're a loose fit I just find them really comfortable for those super laid back days. They also have a raw hem which I always think looks great with trainers, in this case these are just some classic converse high tops in black. And finishing off with my accessories, I only needed my card holder, my phone and my face mask so I could opt for a much smaller bag. This is a mini bag from The Curated and it can also be worn as a belt bag. The sunglasses are Lee Specs and I'm wearing a basic grey cashmere jumper over my shoulders which acts as an accessory but can also be taken off and worn as an additional layer if needed. Moving on to Tuesday, and this is definitely one of my go-to colour combinations for the autumn winter seasons. As the weather has started to get much cooler here in London, I am finding that I'm reaching for my coats at long last. So this is a classic coat from The Curated, it's one of my favourites, and I'm wearing it here minus the belt. It's a really slouchy style and it looks great dressed up or dressed down. Under the coat I'm wearing some washed black mum jeans from Mango and I just find that this acid wash breaks up the outfit without looking too colour blocky but also still in keeping with the colour palette. These chunky boots from Arquette are a new addition to my wardrobe this season as you may have seen in some of my recent videos and this cashmere roll net is also from Arquette which if you haven't guessed already is one of my favourite brands. My earrings are both from Majuri and I've been a bit lazy and worn these solidly for the last few weeks. And the sunglasses are my Ray-Ban Meteors. I feel pretty put together in this outfit but it's also quite casual and practical for day to day wear. So the weather has started to fluctuate a little bit as it tends to at this time of year but that makes a great excuse to get the last few wears out of my Loewe basket bag which I personally think works really well with these kind of transitional outfits. On top I'm just wearing a basic vest from weekday mainly because all of my white t-shirts were in the wash with a gold curb chain necklace from Misoma. This navy cardigan is from Arquette and I actually bought this last year but never got around to wearing it so this was its first outing and it definitely won't be its last. The loafers are old from a H&M premium collection but they're so comfortable so I get a lot of wear out of these but only when it's not raining because they are really soft and delicate suede. The jeans are from Mango, they're a nice structured and rigid denim so they don't stretch out or lose their shape but they do come up quite cropped on my 5 foot 9 frame so when it starts to get even cooler I will have to wear them with boots to avoid drafty ankles. Okay Thursday and I am back in my happy colour which of course is black. And I'm actually wearing a few items which I've already worn this week, but the jeans are new. They're actually new to my wardrobe as well. They are the cropped flares from Arquette, surprise, surprise, which I already had in a blue wash from last year. And I just find them really comfortable. So thought I'd add a second pair to my wardrobe. Again, wearing my black Converse high tops, which admittedly need a little bit of a clean because I went wandering up a mountain in them in Scotland. So again, you can see that the washed black jeans break up the harshness of the all black outfit and my Loewe puzzle bag adds a touch of warmth with that tan leather. My usual Arquette basic t-shirt acts as the base layer in this look and I'm wearing my classic black blazer that I designed for the curated which while I have you guys here can I just say a massive thank you for all the love shown for this blazer. I honestly can't believe how quickly it sold and I'm really really excited to see how you guys style yours once they arrive. 
For Friday's outfit, I decided double knitwear was the only way to go as we've had another temperature drop. So again, wearing an extra knit over my shoulders and over the top of this striped jumper, which is from H&M. And I have been getting a lot of wear out of this over the last couple of weeks. Now, I am definitely a big trainers girl. These are from Veja and they're called the Campo. I personally find that these are my most comfortable Vejas. These camel wool trousers are from And Other Stories and they're a really flattering fit. They have a high waist and a wide leg and I think that they can be dressed up or dressed down as I've done here. And in the way of accessories, just a little hair clip there, my Celine So Sangle bag, which I reviewed in Sunday's video, and my infamous Celine Edge sunglasses, which I have finally decided to embrace. On to the weekend now, and Saturday's outfit is definitely one you guys will have seen me in many a time. So here's another appearance from my classic black blazer that I designed with the curated. It's such an easy piece to style, you really can't go wrong with it, if I do say so myself. Accessories wise, today's bag is again my Celine So Sangle. The belt is really old from Topshop. I think I've had that for about four years now and it's holding up really well. And my Ray-Ban round sunglasses. This is the kind of versatile outfit which you can dress up or down depending on the footwear. So I've gone for a slightly dressier look here with my Chanel slingbacks, but it does also work with loafers, boots, ballet flats, or trainers if you wanted a more low key look. Now that the days are getting cooler, I'm finding that I'm layering a basic cashmere knit over my t-shirts for warmth. And this one here is one of my many from Marks and Spencers. And the jeans are from Arquette. And finally, ending the week with Sunday's outfit and this amazing ribbed knit from And Other Stories. Admittedly, it's not the most practical for fitting under a coat because of the volume in the sleeves, unless you have dropped sleeves in your coat, but it is perfect for hashtag sweater weather, my favorite time of year. And I finally changed my earrings and gone for some chunkier hoops from Misoma, but kept in the delicate studs in my second holes. Now, as you can see here, gray is definitely the dominating color in this outfit. So again, as I did earlier on in the week, I'm using my Loewe puzzle bag to add that touch of warmth. These Arquette crop flares are getting another wear this week, but this time with some ankle boots. These boots were actually from last year from And Other Stories, and they also came in a black, which unfortunately I missed out on. And they're actually an almost perfect color match for my Loewe puzzle bag. And that concludes the week. Thank you all for watching as usual, and I will see you next time.